Hello people. Welcome to the new code for this round tutorial. So in this video, we will be discussing problem number D. Make a power of two. All right. So what we have to do is basically we are given an integer n and in one move, what we can do, we can perform one of the reduction. So the first one is erase any digit of the number. It's also given that it's acceptable that the number before the operation has exactly one digit and after the operation, it is empty. And the second operation which we can do is add one digit to, to the right. Okay. The actions may be performed in any order, any number of times. Now note that if after deleting some digit from a number, it will contain leading zeros. They will not be deleted. Example, if you delete from the number 301, the digit 3, the result is the number 01, not 1. Okay. Okay. So you need to perform the minimum number of actions to make the number any power of 2. That is, there's an integer k, k greater than or equal to 0, such that the resulting number is equal to 2p power k. The resulting number must not have leading 0. All right. So here, uh, one example is given. Suppose n equal to 1052, then the answer will be 2. How? You can first add at the end any number. So they added 4. After that, you can delete any number uh, from anywhere in this uh, given number. So they deleted 5. So the number became 1024, which is a power of 2 which is, uh, I think, 2, 2 p power 10. Okay. The second one is 8888. In this one, they deleted 3 8, So the number become 8, which is a power of 2. So the answer is 3. OK. So since we have to, uh, what we have to give, we have to give the number, minimum number of operation in which we can make them equal to 2 p power some k, for k greater than or equal to 0. Now, if you see, the n is, uh, less than or equal to 10 to the power 9. And if you will see the number of 2 p 2 to the powers are very uh, less within this number. So if you can uh, initially, if, if we can initially calculate the power of 2s, uh, so there are not uh, too much power of 2s which we need to uh, calculate in order to compare them, right? We can uh, calculate some maybe 100 numbers which are power of 2, the first initial 100 numbers which are power of 2. And these numbers, uh, n to uh, n, this n will uh, easily fit under that. By deleting and adding, we can easily fit under that. Okay, so since n is 10 to the power 9, the number of digits will be uh, uh, less than or equal to 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Okay. So what we can do, if you will see the second operation is or is always you can add at the right. So the idea is if you are going to add any number at right, suppose this is the number, if you have to add any right number at right, and then the sec the first operation which you have to do, you can delete any number at the end. So if you think properly, the deletion will be done only in these uh, initial digits. Because if you're adding some number at the end, and later you will, you are going to delete something, some number from th among those which you added at the end, then what's the point of adding that number? You are once you are adding that, and then once you are removing that, so that is totally unnecessary. So we will add only those numbers which are required, which are actually going to stay in our answer finally. So the deletion will be performed only in initial numbers, uh, only in, in uh, initial digits which we had. We will be deleting only those numbers. Now if we already have, if we have pre-calculated all the power of two, like 2 to the power 0, 2 to the power 1, 2 to the power 2, like that, if we have calculated all numbers, so suppose we have calculated up to 2 to the power 100, so there will be 
only 100 numbers we can convert them in a form of a string we can convert this as well in a form of a string so only there are 100 numbers from which we can compare these numbers and we can take the minimum of uh, all them so how we will compare them suppose this is 1 0 5 2 and the answer uh, for the number which gave the minimum answer is 1 0 2 4 right so while comparing this since this is the power of 2 so all these numbers need to be present in this number which we will do after several uh, which we will get after several operation right so we all these numbers should be present so we will uh, how we will check that we will take one iterator in the first one one iterator in the second one and we will compare if these numbers are equal we will move on to next one so when we will come over here since these numbers are not equal which means this five need to be deleted because the third number if the number is if we have to convert this number into this number this power of two then the third number should be 2. Here third number is not 2, it's 5, which means we, this uh, one needs to be deleted. So we will just increment the counter of this one and we will increment our count, which is uh, basically denoting how many numbers we have to, to delete or add the total number of operations. So in our count, we will just keep incrementing. So right now it's 1. So when we uh, compare these two, these two are uh, equal. So we will increment further our both these. So we will do this until this one is within a limit of the size of this one and this one within limit of the size of this one. Uh, uh, after that, if we will see uh, how many numbers are left to be compared in this one and how number many numbers are left to be compared in this one. If the numbers in this one need, uh, are left, which needs to be compared that means uh, those many numbers we have we have to add at the end of this this one so we will increment our count with if this uh, iterator is i and its length is n then we will increment our count with n minus i which is basically denoting how many numbers are left in our this one and uh, suppose if this one gets first out of the size and this one remains uh, under the limit, which means all the numbers which needed to be present, all the digits which needed to be present in our this system in order to make it 2 to the power, two, uh, two to the power some x, which is this, this 2 to the power. So that means uh, whatever left numbers are present in this, they need to be removed, right? So if the iterator in this one is j and size of this string is m then we need to remove m minus j numbers so total number of operation for that will be m minus j so we will add that in our count so this count if we are currently uh, comparing our is our this digit which the n which we are given if the suppose this is the we converted this in string s and we are comparing our string s with some string x which is a 2 to the power some 2, two to the power then this uh, count will give us the minimum number of operation we need we need in or, uh, in order to convert this one into this to the power, uh, which is x, right? So similarly, since we have already calculated all two to the powers up to 100 or 200 or maybe 500 until 500, we can go. That's not an issue because the const, uh, it will not get time limit exceeded for that amount. So for all numbers, for uh, all two to the powers, we will compare them. And for all of them, we will get the count. And finally, we will return the minimum count as our answer. Now, I hope you must have understood. Now, uh, I'm just going to show you the code for this one so that you can understand it properly if you have some confusion. Okay. Let me clear the screen. Okay. 
it's done so here if you see in our main function we are getting the t which is denoting the total number of test cases then we are getting the n for which we have to calculate minimum number of operation but before that we are just computing all 2 to the powers and we are storing in our this global string vector so for that purpose for that calculation since we are calcu uh, uh, for for the safe side i am calculating total 500 number which are initial 500 to to the to two powers powers of two so if we will do integer or in long long we will do multiplication 2 to the power 500 that will go out of the bound out of the limit of long long int so what we are doing for that we are doing uh, using this multiply function in this multiply function we are multiplying two strings two strings so one string this mul is two because we have to al always uh, multiply with two so this pre is the previous number so we started with one we pushed one which is two to the power zero then every time we will multiply our previous one with mul which is two so it will become two next now pre will become uh, this s which is 2 the next time pre into 2 will become 4 then pre will become 4 then it will become 8 so all those numbers we are pushing in this now if you want to see how this multiply function work i basically uh, co uh, this is very easy but i co uh, copied this from gfg so you can go and check it out so it's basically a multiply to string you will pass it uh, pass two strings and it will give you the multiple of those in a form of a string so i am just inserting uh, first 500 uh, numbers which are to power of 2 into our vector string then here we are getting n for which we have to calculate in our solve function i am converting that uh, n here i had uh, written k it's okay so i am converting that in a form of a string and initial i am initializing my answer with int max then for all 2 to the power i which we have already calculated i am uh, which are present in our vector v so i am iterating in on my vector v and v i is some power of 2 i am comparing that with r which is my number so this help function will give me the count of uh, operation the minimum operation for uh, in the, for required such that we can convert our r into this vi and uh, i am uh, taking the minimum of answer and correct in this help function you can see n is size of a m is size of b i am initializing this i j with zero and i am iterating while these are uh, under limit if they are equal i am incrementing i and j if they are not equal that means the jth one needs to be deleted so for that i am incrementing our count and incrementing j then we will uh, finally we will uh, add n minus i in case i is less than n that means uh, these num these extra numbers need to be added at the end so i am adding that and if j is less than n then this m minus j extra numbers are present in our string which needs to be deleted so in that case i am incrementing this and returning the final count all right so hopefully you understood the problem uh, and uh, how we approached it and how we solved it so thank you for watching please do like and subscribe my video all right thank you bye